guys. I'm Davina. Welcome to Whoosh Bang Pow. You might be noticing that Jeremy is missing again, but this time it is my fault. Uh, I am volunteering for a women's, women's film festival this week, and therefore it's conflicting with the time that Jeremy and I be able to react to this episode together. Um, also, I can't stress enough, if there is a film festival that is playing in your city, uh, try and volunteer because it's an awesome experience uh, and indie film is just kind of one of my passions. So, uh, last week uh, was pretty emotional for me. Not only was it the first time I did a solo reaction, uh, that episode hit me pretty hard in the feels. I'm hoping this episode is not going to be the same. Uh, and again, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave in the description how we can help uh, get The Bold Type a second season. Um, obviously, live tweeting and watching the show live is number one, but there are some other things that we might be able to do um, in regards to helping the show get a second season. So without further ado, let's watch The Bold Type right now. Okay, friends, where were we? Oh, yes, Cat's social media campaign was the tip. Well, unfortunately, Instagram has rules against posting photos that include one of his nipples. That's honestly a sexist. <laughs> but her defiant approach wasn't exactly oh, cat. breast practices. Sutton first week in fashion was all grunt and... Breast black. practices. <laughs> Cute. Until she found out, are you praying about me? No. And everything in between. I found last night. Eh, I have fun twice, actually. Time yeah, still. Oh, that's a cute bathroom. Yeah, the thing about sh shower sex is someone's gonna get cold. I mean, it's just not as romantic as the movies make it out to seem. Not saying it can't be hot. Okay. Whoa. Did she. What? Okay. Awkward. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Still. Sorry. Small apartment. Still not really on board. Incredibly small shower. Um. I meant the other thing. Gene, it's fine. I know you didn't mean it. We both know what this is. Did they have that talk? Something tells me they didn't have that talk. Yeah, it was your fault. So, uh, did you plan to read his last article? I did. Tantric adventure is totally worth it or a total waste of four hours. So that means he must be dating other people, right? Because there's no way that was tiny to him. Exactly. Well, actually. Really? Oh, wow. Huh. Four hours. I once made out with a girl for like seven hours. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you. I'll get her there, Jacqueline. Don't worry. If you say so, I won't. Oh. Makeup tips are one thing, but when it's something like this, multiple sources, the CDC site, something in the doc of, or dot org. Got it. I'm so embarrassed, Kat. I wanted to get it tweeted out during her sexual health hour, so I rushed it. We still need to check our sources. It won't happen again. Maybe while you're getting up to speed, let's just stick with less heavy subject matter. Like I said, makeup tips. Did gossip. she not go to journalism <laughs> school? I'm going to kick ass. It's kind of one of the things you learned. I appreciate learn. it. You know, you're my first direct report, so make me proud. I will. All right. Oh, that's going to blow up in her face. Jane, you're single, right? Huh. Single. Um, well, it's a yes or no question, not a diary entry. I need a writer to review the new dating app Set You Up. It's a blind date concept with a who knows you better than your best friend twist. You don't choose your date, your what? best friend does. What? You have a few best friends, right? Okay. Yes. So... Is anyone really so open to blind you. dates anymore? Oh, that was so refreshing. You're not exclusive, and I could date... Did she have that conversation? Time, so yeah, I'll do it. Did Great. they? Please try to make the article shorter than this exchange. Ha! <laughs> Love them or gotta have them. If you choose someone with genital piercings, I'll kill you. Come on. Why are we picking anyone? What? You were um, in love with Pinstripe. Okay. Not funny. What do you think? 
God, I remember the first time I saw a genital piercing on a guy. It was traumatic. Kind of the same when I saw a genital piercing for the first time on a woman. You're just getting there? Should cut a little close? Okay. Aw, how cute is he? Hi. Oh. Oh. Networking. It can be so awkward. I'm Sutton. I'm Miss Scarlet. Noelle. Oh, Perla. Oh, Perla! I'm wearing your underwear. <sighs> I'm not wearing your underwear. I'm wearing my Perla. I get it. First time? Yeah. I just started out in fashion, so it's a little intimidating. Tiffany! Hi! Wow. Damn. How are you? This is interesting. Normally she's really super confident. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, that's a cute outfit. God. Love the outfits. Love the music. Oh, he's cute. God, does everyone... Drink vodka soda now? That's what my friends wanted last Friday when we went out to the club. Well, those are very good beers for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll play some sometime. Okay. I mean, I'm not really feeling this guy either. Oh, poor Sutton. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! So the, the petite fours are potent. Wow. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> He's right! I'll introduce you around. I'm here! I'm here! Hi! Hi! Are, are you drunk? Yeah! <laughs> I'm drunk! Uh, I had an assignment that involved cocktails and I'm tiny, so. Ha! Huh. Good point. It only takes one drink for me. Coming right up. I'm a cheap date. Hi. You guys, networking is so hard. <laughs> it's really hot right now. Oh. The petite fours were pot fours. It was IT. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm late. It's okay. But I brought dessert. Thank you. It's pot. It's pot. Oh, oh my god. Nice bathroom. Here comes another wave. It starts in my toes and then it goes. Ugh. How long is this? Oh no. Not good. Okay, good again. Oh my god. Hey, Jade's going on another date. We set you up, guy. He kissed me. What? Wow, okay. No one's there, huh? I don't know. Dude, should I? You can tell me often. Oh, here I go again, you guys. I'm still going up. It's kind of surprising. I thought that she would be very conservative with that. Oh, that's cute. You know, this reminds me of the time that I too shared a bathtub with a bunch of friends. That was a good time. funny <laughs> word. Oh my god, it's so cute. Your friends are good people. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're fun. They're, um. Yeah. Aw, come on. Aw, I know where this is going. Listen, this is corporate. And the reality of the age hey, difference. Guys, Been there. No. Okay. My bad. You said to stick to slow gossip. Yeah, that's not gossip. Okay, I'm, I'm 
confused. You, you told me to do slug gossip, so I did. How did she get hired as a social media person if she doesn't know this stuff? Uh, I can see that you're frustrated. Anyways, this guy asked me out again, and I wasn't sure what to say. So I thought we should be honest with each other. I'm confused. I thought we were being honest with each other. Um, I just wanted you to know that I'm seeing other people. Oh, they didn't have the talk. Glad we cleared that up. Oh. Thanks for your honesty. And wow. I don't know how I would feel about him having. I don't. That's not cool. I heard about last night's errant tweet. Oh, Jacqueline. Damn. I love that outfit. Tweet was already noticed outside of your department. I got a call from a board member. Oh. Really? Yes, Richard Hunter saw the tweet. Guess the board members really do pay attention. <laughs> I guess they do. Which is no small deal. Certainly not to me. Oh. Do we understand each other? Absolutely. Oh. You are a modern millennial woman. Yes. <laughs> the two guys. I mean, when okay, I. Okay, I may not like I that top. One flavor. Definitely don't do side by side, and I definitely don't do the swirl because then the flavors they get all mixed. Okay, I feel like the analogy could stop. There. <laughs> yes. I don't yes. I went into Richard's office. Oh. Uh. What? Uh, because you went to Jacqueline about this thing that I was handling. Cat, you can't go into his office. I know. I don't even go into his office. I know. What did he go to Jacqueline about? A stupid Kylie Jenner tweet. You are jeopardizing my relationship and my career over a Kylie Jenner tweet. I'm sorry. I got. I Makes a good really point. I know you're worried how this will look for you, and yeah, it won't look good. But I need you to realize how bad it would be for me. Your opinion, you know what I look like? What this would do to my career? This gets up. This can't get out. I know. I know. Oh, they're gonna break up. Look, I have to go. Wow. wow. This is Bye. so sudden. Oh, cute. Oh, I like that guy. He's kinder than I am, and I know that, and I accept that. Oh. We got lucky, and we met at the right time, and you're very mm. handsome, and uh, and my husband is eternally patient when work intervenes. I'm so sorry. This is going to take a while. Oh, oh my God, those shoes! Oh. Wax play. Oh. That's, I mean, I try, I mean, it, you gotta try it at least once. I made reservations. Nope. Okay. Wow. She's come a long way from the big O episode. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> What's wrong? There's the rush, right? Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. I'm sorry. What? Nothing. Nothing. Talking. Talking is good. So, do you like frozen yogurt? <laughs> do you do a swirl? <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Uh, all right. So, Rob Lowry, he's the mu music supervisor. Y'all need to tweet him and give him props at Rob Lowry. I think. I don't remember. Let me see. At Robert Lowry. Oh. Oh. You need to let her go. I have to fire her. Right. So did you see that guy again? I did. Cool. Did you see Wax Play Girl again? You wow. Know that? I'm just curious from a <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried counting. So you've lost track then. Oh god. The woman in the back. <laughs> if there is anything you want to talk about. Oh my god. Communication people. 
lady. Uh, I shouldn't have gone into Richard's office. You think? It's okay. I mean, it's not, but you know that. Yeah, I know. Someone's gonna out us. Hmm? No. And it won't be me. And it'll probably be me or Richard. It just feels inevitable. You do? Oh, where'd he go, son? Uh, they're gonna break up. Oh my god. What? What? Is he talking about a threesome? Aww. Aww. I'm so happy for Jacqueline. What a lucky guy. Hey, what do we want for dinner? Sushi? Aww. I want what they have. Oh, don't we all? I want love. There, I said it. You're not gonna find it with pinstripe. I'm gonna be a better boss lady. Aww. I want this thing with Richard to be less complicated. It's and not nachos. gonna get less. Yeah. Mm, nachos. nachos. Same. I can't do the multiple guys thing. I want to. I can only do one. Okay. okay. But not with me. It's just not who you are. Oh, knew it! He's so not endgame. Well, uh, hang on. Jane, come on, we can talk about it. No. There's nothing to talk about. Yes. I don't want to change you. Yes. I don't want to change either. Good for you. It's been fun, Sloan. Yeah, it has. Oh. Bye. Good for you. And didn't we all know that he wasn't going to be the guy? Nope, keep walking. Yes. Thank you. So what are we going to do? I'm going to keep the things up. Don't talk about it anymore. You know, know each other's friends, spend time in each other's lives. God, that sucks. That's not a relationship. I guess it's impossible, isn't it? It's not impossible, but what kind of a relationship is that? So what are we deciding here? Aww. I liked him. Okay. Aw, that's sad. I mean, it is inevitable, but sad. There's a life lesson to grow on. Aww. It's a pretty shot. I like that shot. You guys, I think you should know. I had sex in here like three days ago. Oh! <laughs> Jeremy next to me. Um, wow, it's another good episode of the Bold Type. These episodes keep getting better and better. Uh, a, a plus. Come on now. I have to give props to Rob Lowry, who is the music supervisor. I can't imagine how hard his job is because I just realized how often they really do play music throughout the entire episode. That cannot be easy, but he does a great job. So, 
go tweet at him at Robert Lowry um, that he's doing an excellent job at selecting the music for every episode. So let's see, what did we learn this time? Dating. Um, I honestly, I can't imagine dating more than one person. I don't know how people can do it. It's it's enough bandwidth to date one person, let alone more than one person. <laughs> At least for me. I don't know how someone can do it. Um, I But in, it's also important to have a discussion with whoever you're dating, especially if you're, you're, you start dating for more than a month, um, to have a conversation of if you're going to be exclusive or non-exclusive. I think that, I think it's okay to have that discussion. What, like, I almost feel like you should have that discussion like one to two months into it because especially when you're going, for me, if you're going to be intimate with someone, you need to let them know if, like for me, if we're going to be intimate, I don't want you dating other people and sleeping with them. That's just, I'm not cool with that. I can't imagine Jane would have been cool with that either. Um, I don't know how other people can be cool with it. Uh, I mean, I'm not judging, but I just, like, that to me just brings about, <laughs> like, really unnecessary type of drama sometimes. Uh, unless it's a relationship that you, it's just, you both feel it's just going to be physical and there's no emotions, but I feel like that's hard to have a physical relationship just be physical. Um, it's not that it can't be done. I just, I can't, can't do it. Um, let's see. So yeah, I love how in this episode you saw Jane dealing with um, the dating relationship question and Sutton also dealing with it too. I mean, age difference can sometimes be difficult depending on where they are in their life like i for I, i've dated someone younger than me there are pros and cons to dating someone older or younger than you uh but there are but eventually there could be issues such as what happened here with um sutton and richard that being a work workplace romance which i don't ever really recommend doing a workplace romance they're just not a good idea at all um, but obviously, um, I don't, I mean, I've dated someone younger, so I, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a horrible, I mean, I, we, we had a lot in common, but at the end of the day, the, the age difference was that she just didn't know what she wanted at that point. Like she got to, she, you, you have to date someone if they're going to be younger, they have to know who they are. And when you're dating someone younger and they don't know who they are, that ends up being the issue because instead of growing together, you end up either, you kind of grow apart or you grow together. You, all, you always want to try and grow together, but when someone's younger than you or older than you, depending where they are in their lives, sometimes it ends up not working out because of just, you're just in two different places and it's no one's fault. It just happens. Um, some people have hard and fast rules about dating people younger or older. I don't necessarily rule out older or younger people than me. Um, I don't necessarily have like a, you know, I will never date someone 10 years younger than me or 15 years younger or 15 years older or 10 years older than me because you're, you're ultimately falling in love or falling for the person and not their age. Um, age is just a number. But I, after the relationship I had, I have to, you have to be a little realistic um, in the fact that wherever they are in their life, you have to take into account. So, in saying that, I felt like the bold type really did cover that, and they did a really good job. Um, it's sad. We kind of knew where that was going with Richard after the last episode, that, you know, the you kind of saw that the age gap was there and then the issue with them working together was going to be an issue and which is sad because I really thought they were cute and I liked them together um so I guess this means that Sutton and Alex might start dating what I do hope is that she doesn't start dating Alex right away that it's a really slow burn I really would love to see a slow burn there uh Jane in this episode oh my goodness how she went from like 
that the orgasm episode to where she was with the guy on the couch is so different. Um, <laughs> then, yeah, that was, I, wow, that was surprising <laughs> and yet amusing at the same time. Uh, yeah, I can imagine someone <laughs> like that when you finally can embrace your sexuality and you're comfortable with your body and you know what you want, that it's so much easier to be intimate with someone um, and not have that kind of baggage. Uh, and again, so here's the thing with Jane. Like, I didn't really feel like she had on-screen chemistry with that actor either. Um, it's nothing about Katie Stevens. She's a great actress. Um, it's not, it's just sometimes chemistry, on-screen chemistry is there and sometimes it's not. I feel like it's really hard sometimes for um, casting people to, to get the chemistry between actors just right. Very seldom do you get lightning in a bottle where it's like Grey's Anatomy and you have McDreamy and Meredith and it's like, wow, those two really have a lot of chemistry together. Um, but again, I don't know. Like, I don't see that guy being Jane's OTP either. I still feel like Jane needs someone that is different from her but not too different like someone that she can share like they have some common ground but he just views the world a little differently and kind of um opens up her her views a little bit and 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 challenges her like her friends challenge her it would be nice to see jane i don't even know if he has to be an artist because i feel like cat already has that like thing of dating an artist i just feel like he needs to be uh, I suggest, like, maybe an activist or someone that is passionate about something. Um, I think Julie said maybe an actor, which I think that might be interesting if he was, like, a working theater actor, um, like, off-Broadway. <laughs> like, maybe he's off-Broadway theater actor, and he's still struggling, but he has this, like, you know, passion about it, and uh, he, like, you know, exposes Jane culturally to other things. I don't know. She just is so, um, she's such a great character to explore, um, a story arc with in regards to, uh, maturing and growing up and, and changing your points of view, because in your twenties, it definitely happens. You, you're kind of out of college, but you were raised a certain way all the way through high school. And then through college, you have a little bit more freedom to think for yourself. And then when you're in the workplace, you know, you have experiences like dating a, dating a co-worker, dating someone older, dating a, you know, a, someone that is in a leadership role, and you kind of learn your lesson of, you know, what is and isn't appropriate for the workplace or for you. Um, and I feel like the bold typewriters really do a great job exploring these things that that happen in your 20s. Regardless of whether, whether or not you're a millennial, I really think a lot of these things are universal. Um, speaking of which, does anyone ever really want to go on a blind date again? <laughs> I mean, isn't that the whole reason we like those apps is because you basically see who these people look, what these people look like. Um, <laughs> like that's an interesting concept. Let's go back in time and do blind dating, which I tried that. It was not my thing. Blind dating is so awkward. Like even when you had a chance to have a conversation before the date, it's still awkward to date that. Yeah, it's, I would never do that again. Oh, Jacqueline and, and her, like, God, I just love how this episode just kind of explored relationships and, and we got to see different kinds of relationships. You had, you know, Sutton and Richard that were an established relationship that you saw what happens when you have an age difference. And then you have Jane who just kind of started dating Pinstripe and realized that he's just not the one, but... They had a fun time, and she can appreciate that. And then you have Jacqueline and her husband, who have been together for 20 years. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want someone that just compliments them and accepts, accepts them for who they are? I mean, my God, we all want that. Kat having to have a worker under her, that kind of, like, was out of the blue, because I don't know if they ever said that she had a, a social media person uh, before. But it, it was interesting in the fact that Kat um, took on the challenge of being a boss and that she tried to be like Jacqueline, kind of letting them 
mess up, but I feel like she had to realize you can only give so many chances. And sometimes it's okay when the person is not in the right seat on the bus um, because everyone should have their seat on the bus, but some people need to be in the correct seat. And when they're not, you just need to, you know, stop the bus and let them off, uh, basically, which is what she had to do. And it's never fun having to be fired or to fire anyone. I feel like it's just as stressful um, for someone to fire someone because you're it, it just is. You're basically telling someone, oh, we're letting you go. By the way, you're going to have to hopefully you have enough money to survive on until you get your next job which, huh, that's stressful. A cat having to do that was, it was nice. I feel like Cat's story arc of her wanting to be a better boss and kind of seeing how Jacqueline is, and maybe she is trying to be the boss that Jacqueline is, letting her employee mess up, but still trying to guide that person as best she can. But I think with Jacqueline, she sees everyone's strengths and weaknesses, and she knows where they belong on the bus which is a really key factor if you're if you're in a leadership role you need to make sure whoever you have in every position is where they should be um so that everything's kind of the pistons are all firing um and things are going smoothly uh but yeah it was another great episode of the bold type i can't say enough how much i really enjoy this show i really hope it has a season two guys you know keep tweeting about it keep interacting with the bold type writers and the bold type show on twitter and the cast hashtag renew the bold type hashtag bold the bold type um you know rewatch it on your dvr make sure you record it watch it within 48 hours or seven days i think that's what i heard as well uh, and you can also stream it um i i feel like when we were trying to get winona erp uh, a season three we literally did three those three things we watched it live we DVR'd it and then watched it and then we streamed it too. There are certain fans that did that. Um, I will like stream, I'll stream a show or for me, I actually ended up buying a season pass for Winona Earp and watching it that way on Amazon. But uh, we need to support this show, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's fun to watch. It's got a great message and I can't say enough uh, good things about it. And, and with all of us working together, we can hopefully get a season two. I'm confident that it'll get a season two because if they renewed Famous in Love, which had like 200,000 viewers or something like that, I mean, the bold type is definitely trending higher than Famous in Love um, in their ratings. And their ratings are actually um, pretty, I mean, they were getting steadily higher and they dropped like one week, but then they were up again uh, last week. Hopefully this week they're up again. Uh, but again, if we keep them trending on social media and we keep uh, telling Freeform how much we love this show and we, we um, retweet articles that are written about this show on, on Twitter um, and letting those writers know and those publications know that we appreciate them supporting a show that we love, then hopefully we'll get a season two, guys. So let's not uh, give up even though we haven't heard anything from Freeform. I'm still staying positive. The season's not over yet. I think we can get a season two. If you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe. Please comment below. Let me know how I've been doing as a solo reactor because this, again, is my second time. I apologize. Um, women in film and independent film are kind of a passion of mine, so whenever that kind of opportunity arises, I always kind of volunteer and make myself available um, to help those festivals out. So... Um, Hopefully next week Jeremy and I are back to doing this together. But let me know if uh, I'm doing okay and you guys are okay with this because I have a feeling with me and Jeremy's schedule uh, in the next few weeks going into the fall, I'm not sure um, if we'll be able to react to every episode together. So I might be doing these solo. I might have guest friends coming in and helping me um, react to shows, but... Anyway, I hope you guys have liked this. I've enjoyed watching the show, and I hope you guys enjoyed me watching it. But that does it for me for now. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm Davina. Welcome to Whoosh Bang Pow. You might be noticing that Jeremy is missing again, but this time it is my fault. Uh, I am volunteering for a women's, women's film festival. 
this week and therefore it's conflicting with the time that Jeremy and I be able to react to this episode together. Um, also, I can't stress enough, if there is a film festival that is playing in your city, uh, try and volunteer because it's an awesome experience uh, and indie film is just kind of one of my passions. So, uh, last week uh, was pretty emotional for me. Not only was it the first time I did a solo reaction, uh, that episode hit me pretty hard in the feels. I'm hoping this episode is not going to be the same. Uh, and again, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave in the description how we can help uh, get The Bold Type a second season. Um, obviously, live tweeting and watching the show live is number one, but there are some other things that we might be able to do um, in regards to helping the show get a second season. So without further ado, let's watch The Bold Type right now. Okay, friends, where were we? Oh, yes, cat social media campaign was the tip. Well, unfortunately, Instagram has rules against posting photos that include women's nipples. That's honestly a sexist. <laughs> but her defiant approach wasn't exactly oh, cat. breast practices. Sutton's first week in fashion was all grunt and... Breast well practices. <laughs> Cute. Until she found, are you praying about me? No. And everything in between. I found last night. Eh, meh. I have fun twice, actually. Time yeah, still. Oh, that's a cute bathroom. Yeah, the thing about sh shower sex is someone's gonna get cold. I mean, it's just not as romantic as the movies make it out to seem. Not saying it can't be hot. Okay. Whoa. Did she. What? <laughs> okay. Awkward. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Still. Sorry. Small apartment. Still not really on board. Incredibly small shower. Um, I meant the other thing. Jane, it's fine. Did they have that talk? Something tells me they didn't have that talk. Yeah, it was your fault, sir. So, uh, did you guys read his last article? I did. Tantric adventure is totally worth it or a total waste of four hours. So that means he must be dating other people, right? Because there's no way that was tiny to him. Exactly. Well, actually. Huh. Really? Oh, wow. Huh. Four hours. I once made out with a girl for like seven hours. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you. I'll get her there, Jacqueline. Don't worry. If you say so, I won't. Oh. Makeup tips are one thing, but when it's something like this, multiple sources, the CDC site, something the doc of, or dot org. Got it. I'm so embarrassed, Kat. I wanted to get it tweeted out during her sexual health hour, so I rushed it. We still need to check our sources. It won't happen again. Maybe while you're getting up to speed, let's just stick with less heavy subject matter. Like I said, makeup tips. Did gossip. she not go to journalism <laughs> school? I'm going to kick ass. It's kind of one of the things you learned. I appreciate learn. it. You know, you're my first to write for porn, so make me proud. I will. Alright. Oh, that's going to blow up in her face. Jane, you're single, right? Ha! Huh. Single. Um, well, it's a yes or no question, not a diary entry. I need a writer to review the new dating app Set You Up. It's a blind date concept with a who knows you better than your best friend twist. You don't choose your date, your what? best friend does. What? You have a few best friends, right? Okay. So... Well, Is anyone really open to blind you? dates anymore? Oh, that was so refreshing. You're not exclusive, and I could date... Did she have that conversation? So, yeah, I'll do it. Did Great. they? Please try to make the article shorter than this exchange. Ha! Huh. Catalina, it's kind of trending. <laughs> hey, Jane, where are you on genital piercings? Love them or gotta have them? If you choose someone with genital piercings, I'll kill you. Come on. Why are we picking anyone? What? You were um in love with Pinstripe. Okay, not funny. What do you think? Okay. God, I remember the first time I saw a genital piercing yeah. on a guy. It was I think we have a match. traumatic. Ha! 
kind of the same when I saw a genital piercing for the first time on a woman. You're just getting there? You cut a little close? Okay. Aw, how cute is he? Hi. Oh. Oh. Networking. It can be so awkward. I'm Sutton. I'm Miss Scarlet. Noelle. Oh, Perla. Oh, Perla! I'm wearing your underwear. <sighs> I'm not wearing your underwear. I'm wearing my Perla. I get it. First time? Yeah. I just started out in fashion, so it's a little intimidating. Tiffany! Hi! Wow. Damn. How are you? This is interesting. Normally she's really super confident. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, that's a cute outfit. God. Love the outfits. Love the music. Oh, he's cute. Lynn. It's Bobby so friend. God, does everyone drink vodka soda now? That's what my friends wanted last Friday when we went out to the club. Well, those are very good beers for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll play some sometime. Okay. I mean, I'm not really feeling this guy either. <laughs> Poor Sutton. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! So the, the petite fours are potent. Wow. Oh no! Oh no! He's right! I'll introduce you around. I'm here! I'm here! Hi! Hi! Are, are you drunk? Yeah. <laughs> I'm drunk. Ah. I had an assignment that involved cocktails and a tiny, so. Ha! Okay. Good point. It only takes one drink for me. Coming right up. I'm a cheap date. Hi. You guys, networking is so hard. <laughs> it's really hot right now. Oh. The petite fours were pot fours. It was IT. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm late. It's okay. But I brought dessert. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, Oh, my God. That's a nice bathroom. Here comes another wave. It starts in my toes and then it goes. Ugh. How long is this? Oh no. Not good. Okay, good again. Oh my god. Hey, Jade's going on another date. We set you up, guy. He kissed me. What? Wow, okay. Who knows you, huh? Surprising. I thought that she would be very conservative with that. Oh, that's cute. You know, this reminds me of the time that I too shared a bathtub with a bunch of friends. That was a good time. Oh my god, it's so cute. Your friends are good people. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're fun. They're, um. Yeah. Aw, oh, come on. Aw, oh, I know where this is going. Listen, this is corporate. And the reality of the age hey, difference. Guys, Been there. That way. Okay. My bad. You said to stick to slow gossip. Yeah, that's not gossip. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. You, you told me to do slow gossip, so I did. How did she get hired as a social media person if she doesn't know this stuff? Uh, 
I can see that you're frustrated. Anyways, this guy asked me out again and I wasn't sure what to say. So I thought we should be honest with you.